welcome back to my channel guys if you want to learn how to bake this beautiful shortbread cookies hit the subscribe button and stay tuned as I take you through okay so just look at this beautiful cookies Wow it's so nice okay you can take this with your fan milk or any chill drink okay so let's get started i'll need about 200 grams of butter yes and then i'll be using a quarter cup of sugar and then two cups of flour so these are the only ingredients that i'll be using for my shortbread cookies okay so stay tuned okay so what i'm coming to do is i'm coming to cream the butter until it's like creamy but because i don't have powdered sugar and i'll be using the granulated one i'm going to add it in right now and start creaming it together so the sugar can dissolve okay, okay. I'm going to cream it very well, like with all my strength. Okay, so I get the consistency that I want. So, after creaming for a while, this is the consistency that I have gotten. Okay, so I'm going to um, sieve my flour in it and then mix it together so i'm saving the flour because sometimes there are lambs and um some other particles in it so you have to sieve it before adding it okay so i i just added half of the flour to it after mixing it together i will add the other half So I'm mixing it for a while. Um, I'll go and wash my hands and then use my hands to mold like the dough very well. Soap and the running water, guys. Okay, so I'll just um, take the dough from the whisk and then use my hands to um, mix it together well okay so um after adding your flour you don't um really mix um the dough too much yeah like don't over mix it so i'll just roll it into uh, a ball and then transfer it onto my working surface and knead it for some time to um, make it like relax to make the dough relax Okay, so after kneading it for a while, I'm just going to um, flatten it a bit, okay? 
so i'm doing it um this way because after taking it out from the fridge it would be firm so it will be difficult shaping it so i'll just um, put it in a, an improvised plastic foil and then leave it in the fridge for about 30 minutes okay so time is up after 30 minutes this is how the dough looks like so i'll just oil my working surface and then put the dough on it okay okay oh there is a crack but i'll fix that by um using my rolling pin so i'm just going to um hit the dough with the really pin until it's relaxed because it's a bit hard now so i'm just going to do it this way till the dough is relaxed and then i'll flatten it a bit more so that i can shape it nicely so i'll use the knife and my hands to um close the cracks on the door to make it smooth and nice okay so when you are doing this like there would be cracks on it so after everything you just seal the cracks together with your hands so or in a flat thing that you have around okay so i'll use the rolling pin again to smoothen it so um it's it's smooth to my liking before i cut it into shape You can see the dough is still sticking to the rolling pin don't worry just take it and put it where it's coming from at this point I'm coming to cut um, the dough into short bread cookie shapes <laughs> okay I'm not using any measurement I'm just going to cut it. You have to be careful when cutting it because um the door is some way be it would be um breaking so you have to take your time otherwise everything that you have done will just be meshed up yeah i'm just cutting it into um two again so that it would look like the shortbread cookies I'm just going to use a fork to punch holes in on on my dough yes so these are shortbread cookie like holes <laughs> I'm already preheating my improvised oven yes I'm using a a silver with a lid okay so i'm just going to put the cookies in a baking sheet i'm using this because i don't have a tray so carefully i'll just 
pick the cookies one after the other and then put it in the baking pan if you don't take your time it will break so you have to take your time okay so the trick is just be careful like take your time otherwise mm -mm. so i'm going to bake in budgets because my pan is not big so i'll just um put it in my oven and then cover it and it doesn't really take long to bake so you have to be checking it don't wait till it starts browning before you take it from the far okay otherwise it will burn okay so please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video subscribe if you are new here for more videos